Well, I can't quite believe it either, but Ramp 2023 is now finished. I've got all the videos up. Uh, everything is fine. It's been an incredible, overwhelming year, and you can download the full thing from ramp2023.tmouse.net. Now that it's out, I wanted to show you the way to transfer your save so that you can get from an earlier version up to the latest one. This thing I'm showing you now is on the beta version. It doesn't have the nice progress indicator at the top, and uh, we've completed our first bridge and we've got the first artifact and we don't want to lose that progress by starting again. If you save in here and then try restarting Doom with the full finished ramp 2023, you'll find that if you go to load it, it can't do it because this save game needs the files ramp 2023 beta.pk3. And even if you rename the files around, you'll find that GZ Doom can't load it because it's a different hub map than the one you started in. So here we are in the beta again. The way around this is to use the map that's called Refuge. If we change map, Refuge, it'll give us this pleasant little room where we can save. This map does not change across all the versions of Ramp, so save games from one PK3 can be loaded in the other. So now that we've saved in the Refuge and we've renamed Ramp2023.pk3 to Ramp2023beta.pk3, the version that we were playing on before, we can start that up, load our game that was saved in the Refuge map, we can hit the switch, and now we are back in the hub map in the full version of Ramp with our map's completed indicator. So that's change map Refuge in the console, then save your game there, then rename your new file so that it matches the one that you started in, then load your save game, go back to the hub, and you'll be able to continue from there. If that solution isn't very satisfactory to you and you want to keep the file name of the full ramp 2023 as it is to avoid confusion, you can also edit your saved game. If you happen to be on Windows, GZ Doom puts its saved games into your user folder. So if we look for saved games, GZ Doom, it'll be in Doom 2 Commercial. You need to do a bit of deduction to find which save is actually yours. It'll be the last one on the list for this. And you can then open it as an archive with 7-zip or whatever your tool of choice is. Let's go to info.json, edit that with Windows stupid rubbish notepad, and you'll have mapwad in there. You want to rename that to ramp2023.pk3. Start up ramp again with the finished ramp file name. Load your game and you'll be fine because you've changed the file that GZ Doom expects. And here we are in the hub with our progress intact. So that's how you transfer your save. I hope you enjoy picking through Ramp 2023, discovering what's in it, because a lot of people have put a lot of work into this, and I really hope that you enjoy it. Thank you to everyone who contributed once again. Thank you especially to the sponsors who pay for my web hosting. Do keep on creating things throughout the year. I'll be playing Doom as usual, and I'll see you for another one of these in 2024.